اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ومل حیات الدنیا اللہ متاع الغرور صدق اللہ العظیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم لسانی یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ The verse which I have recited is from Surah Al-Hadid, meaning the iron, chapter number 57, verse number 20. Allah says, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ And the life of this world is just merely an amusement or a play is not real. This is the notion of the Holy Quran regarding the world. Everything you see in the world is not real. It is just for a time being play and amusement, recreation. But in reality, it is just nothing. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says that Allah has created you for this world and also for hereafter. So we are here as a transition or trans transit where we will be going to another place, another realm, which is not of this world. The dunya, the world, this will be totally different. Today the topic is what the Western world, what the thing about Antichrist, they do not know, they are unaware of it. What things, what philosophies, what secret or deep meanings of the Jal, the Western world is unaware of. This is what I am going to educate my viewers and listeners. From the Islamic eschatology, not my own philosophies, not my own feelings, my own intrapersonals. It will be totally what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us 1400 years ago. That when Antichrist will come, there is something before him which will be called trials and commotion of Dajjal. Dajjal in Arabic means the trickster, the one who shows you something but in actuality, in, but in actual, that is not what it is. Remarkably, Jesus Christ also mentioned in Matthew chapter 24, verse 24, Lo, you will see that there is a Christ. He will say that I am Christ, I am Christ, I am Christ. He said that, and there shall arise many false Christ and the false prophets, even to show you many signs and the wonders and the feats. Even my own elected disciples, could be deceived or would be deceived by such of those miracles and feats of Antichrist. Meaning, he will show you something which can allure you, your hearts, to disbelief. And what is the sign of that person that he will proclaim from his mouth that I am Christ? So Jesus says, do not believe in that person because he will be a trickster. So Dajjal means a trickster, a liar, hypocrite, false hopes, give you false hopes, breaks the promise, or he will show you something which is not there. And he will make you believe that it is there. Lies, deception, subterfuging, Cheat, confusion, dichotomy, ambivalence, unclearance, all these kind of things will shadow your heart. And the main purpose is to put your hearts into the love of this world. That is the sole and the supreme mission and agenda or modus operandi of the Antichrist. According to Islam, and as well as according to the Christianity or Judeo-Christian, rather I say in lumped up situation. So Dajjal means the one who tricks, 
the one who shows you which is something there which is not supposed to be there or which is not there but it makes you something it's there we are living in the world which is full of materialism my message to the western world today is that we are living in the world which you do not have any criterion to judge right and wrong we do have you see you must have the system to tell you that you are wrong if you are living in your own comfort zone how would you know that that your zone is full of flaws there must be a way there must be a there must be a criterion there must be a scale balance which let you know or make you realize that you are living in false hopes from 19th century when the industrialization started all the humanity has indulged into the love of this dunya the world you have the matter you are just creating creatio ex materia take take the things manipulate it and try to make something else so you are keep loving this world the things are from this world through the primary sector iron copper gold nickel wood you take them out silicon sorry this uh, this uh, grain of the sand and make turn into silicon from desert things are there and then you manipulate those things and then you give your own creation and now you are putting all the people to love love it that is the what we are we call in islam materialism the love of ex materia you see when allah created everything it was kun fayakun be it is and we call it khalq at takween any matter which god wants to make it he just merely says be and the thing comes into existence there is no time and space involved in this time and space started after the big bang according to islam as well as according to the latest research of the scientists all those cosmologists allah says in surah al-anbiya already that we had created everything with a big kind of a blast a spring reaction and everything came into existence and all the things are created from water even the air and the oxygen you take it that's why you see when you have cold in winters you see vapors develop on the window or windshield where do the vapor comes this vapor comes from where because the oxygen is in the atmosphere so you cannot evade yourself without water and your body contains water itself allah says everything is originated through water subhanallah this is the also message to the atheist who think that there is no god 1400 years ago allah is saying that all the creation lumped up is through big bang and every living things i created through water i took them out through water surah al anbiya chapter 21 and let me share with my viewers regarding the epistemology of knowledge you see all the knowledge the human beings have accumulated cannot surpass cannot go beyond these three knowledge number 1 the knowledge of cosmology everywhere you see humans from the dawn of the age is just looking to the stars heavens anything above you allah says the lowest heaven i have decorated with lamps stars big big stars big galaxies we are so much insignificant in front of the all these cosmological events we are nothing we are not even the speck of the speck you see we are being told in our books that we are living in the one of the arms of our milky way spiral galaxy and the distance between the center point is 27000 light years light needs 900 light covers 9 trillion 500 billion kilometers in one year in the roughly speed of 300000 
uh, miles per second. This is the speed which just able to finish 27,000 years. Imagine 9 trillion 500 billion kilometers light covers in one year. You need to multiply that and the unit becomes so massive only to cover your earthly years to understand. And this is not one. Then you go beyond our galaxies. We have billions of galaxies accumulated in one cosmology. All this event, Quran says Big Bang. And everything is originated through water. Your body contains water. Our atmosphere contains water. We breathe all the time water, vapors, oxygen, and takes out all the toxicity or toxics, uh, these things from our body through our digestive system. Sorry, rather I say excre excre excretory system and through carbon dioxide. But it must be there. This is the miracle and miraculous ayah in the Quran if you really pay attention. So what the Dajjal has done, the damage, is to remove all the knowledge of spiritualism, your conscience, and just focus on ex materia. Forget about ex nihilo, the creation which God made it, which is our ruh, souls, not spirits. Rather, I'd say soul is the right word in English to denote Ruh in Arabic. Ruh came from Allah, entered your body into three dimensional space, length, breadth, and width, and everything far beyond that human cannot achieve in this life. Because your soul, your spirit is always proactive, but body is weak. This is the nature of human beings. We are stuck into three dimensional space with some rules and regulations which we cannot cross with our power. You see, people wanted to go to moon, people want to go to different planets. I say, good luck. But you, you're not gonna be, it's not gonna be productive and constructive. You need to have some kind of supplies or accoutrements with you to survive. But natural surviving is only available on this planet so far. Rest of the things you can manipulate, as I told you. Nihilo, this creation, creation X materia. You have matter, do whatever you want to do with that matter. You can manipulate and may change into table or chairs, but you can never, never be able to create something out of nothing. This is what Allah says. That we have created things. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Not the creator. Allah says, I am the originator. Badaya, something origins. You see, atheists are very clever. All the time they argue with you that we came from apes or we came from some kind of evolutionary process. I always ask them, just please tell us. What is your origination? What is the origination? The origin point of human race. And by God, up to now, I haven't come across a single atheist who dares to tell me from where. All speculative data. Once if you have the speculative data, why don't you go for our data? You see, this is what you call intellectual hypocrisy. You have intellectualism in you, but you are doing hypocrisy. Why? Because now you are dealing with the religious understanding, which is you have irritation, you are allergic. So you are not ready to accept that. And you want us to accept your theory, which is no more different. You see, that is why Allah says in the Quran that you were not existing. You were non-existent or non-existence. You were in the, in the situation of non-existence and we brought you into the life. This bringing of you into the life is the proof that somebody is there. You see, when these atheists ask me questions, okay, tell us that God exists or not. 
proof that does God exist? I said, proof, you are the walking proof. Where did you come from? First, you tell me where did you come from? Then I will also tell you where God is. If you can't supply this answer, please don't waste my time because for me, believing in God is the better and rational understanding than not to believe. The debate is over. This is the debate. So don't get terrified, intimidate, in, intimidate with these kind of stupid arguments of these atheists of theirs. No need to worry. Just ask them the concrete question. Where does or where did Adam or this human race come from? From where? Tell us the origin, origin of that. If you cannot tell the origin, <clears throat> do not waste our time either. So, what things the Western people do not know about Antichrist? They have some rough idea that there will be some person is coming. Christians, if you have some religious Christian person, he might believe in 666, the mark of the beast, or something else from the book of Revelation. But the thing which they do not know, which Prophet Muhammad gave us, that the Dajjal will be having two eyes and he will be blinded of one. His right eye will be blinded and the left will be working. And he said that, what does it mean? He says the left eye is the eye of materialism and the right eye is the eye of spiritualism. So he will be blinded with the spiritualism. So he will be just showing you how to play with the matter, how to manipulate, how to see the atomic numbers, do this and that, and then try to change it. So the people consider you gods, that you can only heal, doctors can only heal, there is no dua, there is only dawa, there is no medicine, sorry, there is no prayers. You need to put faith only on medicines and these pharmaceutical industries, this opiate, delight, Western pharmaceutical industries, just believe in those people. They are your saviors. This is number one war. Franz Merzmer. The guy with the word mesmerization came in English. Tantalization is coming from the guy who used to numb people. And he said in his testimony how I was used by the devil. So the people in the future will stop believing in God. And they will believe that doctors are gods. So, number one knowledge that I was telling you is cosmology. Everything goes to matter, matter, matter. Number two, the second type of knowledge which human is doing all along is self-actualization. To know about your own self, self-knowing. You see, from the beginning of the ages, humanity is looking into his own self, that who am I? How I am being made? Where am I going? These questions, these intrapersonal, deep, fragmented questions keep bothering humanity for thousands of years, for millions of years. So Allah gave the reply in the Quran. Surah Fusilat, chapter 41, verse 57. Allah says, and indeed we will show you our signs on the horizon. And signs in front of you. And the signs in your own selves, in your, inside your body. And then your heart will testify that this is Al-Haq. This is the truth. That Jesus Christ said that seek ye the truth, it shall set you free. Allah says your heart will testify that this Quran is the word of God. Nobody has to tell you from outside. Heart will testify. How? When you will see the signs in from the horizon in front of you and within your own selves and then your heart will testify Allah says is the creation of the heavens and the earth more complex than you subhanallah of course heavens and the earth is far complex far complex than humanity Allah says in the Quran that this heavens and the earth creation is more complex than you human beings and you are worrying about yourself that how this happened and how that happened Focus on the situation of the cosmology, your mind will get dizziness. You cannot even understand or comprehend this. And Allah says, 
I challenge you to see on the horizon and see a single flaw. Single flaw in the whole cosmological event, cosmic balance. If any balance goes up and uh, you, you know back and forth, whole of the thing will destroy. Give the thing, let, let me give you a small example. Solar system. We are being told that there is a continuous gravitational pull and repel going on. And these planets are just having centripetal or centrifugal forces, invisible forces, and they are swimming around the sun. You see, if the sun loses the slight gravitational force, what will happen? The earth will start going away and it will become a dwarf, cold planet. If gravitational force of the sun just gets a little stronger, it will suck the planet Earth into it and you will burn, you will be burnt or you will burn like something, like an ash or a microwave in a second. So everything has to be set up. Everything has to be there for a particular reason. And this is what Quran says. That was sama mizan. And whole of the heaven is running through the cosmic balance. Who knew or who knows at the time of Prophet Muhammad about the cosmic balance? You won't. This is what Quran says 1400 years ago that everything in the cosmology has the cosmic balance and I am standing I'm, I'm here re to reason with these atheists tell me who would have told Prophet Muhammad about the cosmic balance. Were those Arabs patricidal of wars, matricidal of wars fighting for little little things that even the one of the other clan came and drink the water from the well they kill him. And you're telling those people know these things? Third knowledge. Revealed knowledge. Holy Quran or any particular book to the time. Three epistemology of knowledge. Number one, to know the cosmology. Number two, to know your own self. Number three, revealed knowledge. You see, today humanity has closed the doors of the second and the third knowledge. And only the first knowledge, cosmology. Study the matter, study the sciences, study the sciences. Forget about metaphysical sciences. Only worry about things which you can feel under your five senses. And beyond all other things, we might believe that might this is there, but we do not have a certain knowledge, so we will ignore it. I'm asking these people. You have a Bluetooth device these days or a Wi-Fi. You transfer the whole data from one mobile to another through the, this Bluetooth technology and you don't see any files being transferred. It's invisible to your eyes. Then how can you believe into this concept and you do not believe in angels? You do not believe in jinn? Jinn are the creation in, in Islam. We call it evil forces or good forces, but forces which are made from smokeless fire and you cannot see from your naked eyes. This is the proof that science is giving you that humans cannot see beyond seven spectrum of light. We call them prism. Through prism we make seven spectrum. You cannot see beyond those colors. So it doesn't mean that they are not there. You cannot listen to just certain kind of frequencies of audio sound. It does not mean that it's not there. Microwaves, ultraviolet rays, gamma rays, x-rays. All the rays is coming through you and you cannot see them. Radio waves, you cannot see them, but they are there. So if you believe in those things, but you cannot see it, then why you deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his secret creation? Why you deny metaphysical sciences? Why you deny ruh? Why you deny these spirits? Why you deny the dreams? Are your deepest, you know, conscious level where your five senses are closed, but you're still feeling in the dream everything. You see, these are the proof. Now, the, this today, people want you, these secret societies, these Dajjalist agents, these Illuminati, Freemasons, their main agenda is to make people like living animals without moral family values. Gays, homosexuals, make the global world like this perverts, sick. So once you break the people of family bondage, 
what else remain what is the difference between animals and us there is no difference then animals can sleep to whomever they want to they want humans to do same so if you do not have these three knowledge into the balanced way physical sciences metaphysical sciences you will never achieve wisdom and this is what the message to the west is you want to know understand the real fitna of the jal the first thing is the jal is doing with you is that making you to love this world and trust on materialism and do not trust in any kind of belief towards god almighty this is the hammer which you do not know you are doing it subconsciously you are indulged into the system of the jal subconsciously and then there is another the jal which is his physical appearance you see you need to understand and before antichrist will come in his physical form there will be trials commotion and fitna he will bring through his agents long time before before his real advent you see when there is a premier coming you put red carpets purple carpets to respect and to welcome this is what the same thing happened the jaw will come with the welcoming way and before he comes into his real physical feature these all things must support his system you see a king cannot sit on a throne if nobody is receiving him so he wants all the people so there is a big curtain now what is the curtain that everything is matter do not believe in any kind of spiritualism and once your body becomes like this what will happen too much love of this dunya will make you a greedy person only you forget dunya and just focus on spiritualism like buddhist and the monks then you will become in the fall into austerity and you will also become selfish one is the greediness another is selfishness and both do not go right that is why prophet says that none of these are allowed the only person who is a real success who is who has a real success is the one who opens both of his eyes spiritual eye and materialistic eye so learn the knowledge through the guidance of holy quran iqra bi ismi rabbika alladhi khalaq read in the name of your lord who has created you from the congealed blood of clot and then study all the sciences in the world what will happen your direction will go away your behavior will go away read everything through the quranic glasses put the glasses of spiritualism and do every scientific research quran and islam does not stop you but where the problem comes when you read in the name of science and you do not read in the name of your creator and it applies to every religion in every religion if you do not follow your creator your your revealed books if it these books are right then your behavior will never come upright so this was the message to the western i'm going to let me finish it into few nutshell sentences in islam we are being told that the before the antichrist will come the whole world will be, will plunge into one system new world order and that system will make you a collective animal you call it social animal economical animal and you don't know what's happening or moral animals maybe immoral animals rather i say not moral immoral animals like something you have no morality left animals i'm saying as a, as a sense of biological way animals homo sapiens but what is the difference that we should have the this revealed knowledge which makes us better than the animal otherwise we all are glorified gorillas and monkeys or angatus what is the difference tell me you have the you have bodily shapes like those apes and animals the only difference is that we are able to express we are able to live for others we study others they cannot study others if we are new it not doing these all things then there is no difference between you and the animals or between us and the animals so prophet says you need to open both of your eyes to evade yourself from the fitna of the jal because this trial and tribulation will be the worst of all things from this earth wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin